Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use SoftLink to actually broadcast a student's video out to the remainder of the students in the classroom. This will enhance the learning experience and allow the instructor to increase the collaboration in the classroom. Currently, I'm connected to 13 students, as you can see by the, my thumbnails I have listed. And I have one individual who has actually requested help. If I mouse over this thumbnail, you can see that they entered, I don't understand the gas entry on my household monthly budget. I'm sure this comes up in a lot of classroom environments where a project has been given to your students, and as they're working along on it, you see a common question recur throughout the class, where each student might have a problem with a certain aspect of that project. Well, SoftLink will allow you to address that problem to everyone in the class at one time rather than going over that particular problem with each individual one at a time. So using this person's request help indicator, I'm going to decide that maybe I should actually go over this particular question with everyone in the classroom rather than just going over with this one individual. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select this person and highlight them. Rather than actually view them at this point, I'm going to select the Show menu. And notice, if I go to Exhibit, that particular station is already selected because I already had them highlighted. At this point, if I select the Exhibit button, notice that a full screen image actually appears on my desktop of that student's workstation. It is also being broadcast out to the remainder of the classroom. So now, I am teaching each one in my class at the same time what steps need to be taken to resolve this particular issue. Rather than going around answering this question individually with each one of my students, I'm able to actually resolve it with the whole class at one time. I do have my share button selected, which means that both I have control of the keyboard and mouse of this student's workstation, as well as the student. And I'm going to go ahead and select control at this point because I don't want the student to interfere with what I'm doing. So by selecting control, I now have total and absolute control of the keyboard and mouse. And the student that I'm viewing right now can no longer actually interact with their computer other than watching it. I'm going to go down to the gas entry they'd asked me about. And I'm going to change this value for them. We're going to actually up it by a few dollars and explain to the rest of the class exactly what it is that I am accomplishing by doing this. Once I'm finished, I can go ahead and select Stop from the button at the top. And now notice that it minimizes. It has closed that student's screen. And now all the students can see their own screens once again. So now I have efficiently solve this problem for this individual student while also addressing that same problem with everyone else in the class. The last thing I can do since I did resolve this issue for them is to come up to my help request and actually go ahead and clear that help request so it's no longer flashing on my screen. That is a way of actually broadcasting a student screen out to the remainder of the classroom thereby allowing everyone to see a solution rather than showing it one by one to each student.